Let's ride. Has been talking to his sources. What have you learned? Good to be with you, Nora. This is a historic moment to have a former president indicted. This has been confirmed to CBS News by Trump's own attorney, Susan Nicholas. She has told CBS News the former president has been indicted. This is about hush money payments made in 2016 by his former fixer, Michael Cohen, to Stormy Daniels, the porn star. Under scrutiny is former President Trump's role in this entire operation. They've been talking to witnesses extensively in recent months, focusing especially on Michael Cohen and his testimony about Trump's role in this entire episode. Bob Costello, the former witness, one of the former lawyer for Trump, he has testified in recent weeks about this entire matter. He just told CBS News minutes ago that he will be, if there's a trial, someone who questions Cohen's credibility. So this could be a tough case for the district attorney in Manhattan, Alvin Bragg, to make. This is not going to go the way you think. Perhaps uh, one of the first uh, reactions from the former president himself is just into ABC News. John Santucci, what has the former president uh, told you? David, I just hung up with the former president. He tells me that uh, he just learned of the news, said it's an attack on our country, said it's political persecution. He went on to say, David, they are trying to impact an election. I asked the former president, uh, does he plan to turn himself in? David, he said, you take care, John, and then he hung up on me. So I think we're going to have to wait and see. But obviously, all of our reporting has been that the former president does indeed intend to head to New York. Uh, maybe didn't want to give me that piece of information just yet from him, but something that we know his team has been in active conversations right now with the Secret Service of what that is going to look like. All right, John Santucci, our thanks for your report. <clears throat> Fifteen minutes later. And right away, we're staying on top of breaking news. Former President Donald Trump indicted. And thanks for joining us. I'm Dave Wagner. And I'm Carolina Lee. We'll have more on this in a moment. But breaking news, as we mentioned, in New York in the last 30 minutes, CBS News has confirmed a New York grand jury has voted to indict former President Donald Trump. And Tampa Bay's Malik Rankin is staying on top of this for us. She joins us right now in the studio. Malik. Dave and Catalina, that's right. His legal counsel confirmed the indictment to CBS. This relates to possible campaign finance violations regarding hush money paid to adult film star Stormy Daniels. This is the first time a president has ever been indicted on federal charges. For more than one week now, law enforcement have been preparing for violent reactions from his supporters, putting up barriers across the city and at the Capitol in Washington, D.C. We're trying to track down the former president's whereabouts as we speak. We do know he spent the last week in Mar-a-Lago, but again, we're still waiting to hear where he is right now. We'll stay on top of this story as it develops on air and online at tintampabay.com. CBS Nightly News will also have more on this coming up at 6.30 as well as right here on Nightside at 11 p.m. In studio, Malik Rankin, Tin Tampa Bay. Just then. Well, tonight, the Manhattan grand jury investigating former President Donald Trump met again today. This afternoon's star witness was the former publisher of the National Enquirer, David Pecker. It's all related to the hush money payments made to former porn star Stormy Daniels. CBS's Robert Costa is outside the courthouse in New York City. Sources close to the investigation tell CBS News that David Pecker's appearance today is a sign District Attorney Alvin Bragg might be finalizing a case against former President Donald Trump. In 2016, it was Pecker who encouraged efforts by then-candidate Trump and Michael Cohen to prevent damaging stories about Trump from being published. Pecker's top editor at the National Enquirer deliberated with Cohen about making payments to Stormy Daniels to keep her alleged encounter with Trump out of the headlines. Soon after, Cohen paid Daniels $130,000 in hush money, later reimbursed by Trump. Pecker has already testified, so that means that his return trip is really just to underscore a point he's already made. And unless there's another... Built on legends. And that legends are a way of understanding things greater than ourselves. Forces that shape our lives. Events that defy explanation. Individuals whose lives soar to the heavens or fall to the earth. This is how legends are born.